Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me, Gert Retief. And tonight I am going to share you some of the whiskies that I bought um, on my way back from some holidays in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So I landed at Vienna Airport yesterday morning and I had a uncomfortable nine and a half hours at the airport. At least I could um, do some shopping. So um, as any whiskey lover, I went straight to the duty-free shopping. I will put a link in the description for uh, if you want to go look at all the offerings that they have. Um, some good whiskies, some very good whiskies, and some fantastically expensive whiskies on offer. There's something for everybody. And um, of course, um, with a limit uh, uh, of how much whiskey you can import into the country. I already had two bottles in my suitcase. I've already reviewed them on a um, couple of weeks ago and I put a link on, on those ones as well. So I did some shopping and the first one that I picked up is um, uh, the Jamesons. And I do like a Jameson. I did some reviews on them as well. The normal triple distilled one, um, I kind of kind of like it. And um, then I picked up a nice sample box, uh, quite a generous sample box, 200 uh, milliliters per bottle. So this is the um, normal triple distilled, also the Irish whiskey cask mix, um, the stout edition and the IPA edition. So, and um, on my way uh, to, the, to the counter to go pay, of course, they had the tourists trapped with the small little sample bottles at the pay counter, and I couldn't resist, so I picked up also the Glenfiddich series. This is the Select Cast, the Reserve Cast, and the Vintage Cast. So, also quite looking forward to reviewing them. Um, in the next uh, couple of weeks or maybe a bit longer. So on for today's review, as you've seen in the description, I am going to look at the Jameson Cosmic, the Stout Edition. And um, I was quite looking forward to, to this. Now, so I must confess, on this one, I did see a previous review on whiskey.com. Um, horse learning and um, I thought it was interesting so I clicked on it and I had a look at his notes and he hated it so I was a little bit apprehensive um, on trying this one um, by just a look on his reaction so I thought I'd stay away from it but um, I do also realize not everybody's got the same taste um, I used to align with his taste uh, quite often so um, I'm going to give this one a go so I actually this is going to be my second taste on it um, I tried last night I uh, pour myself a small one just to give a little bit of a taste I don't want to review something that I'm really not interested in I also don't want to um, just tell everybody how bad something is so I thought I would just give it a go, just to see um, if it's really that bad. And um, I was quite pleasantly surprised. It is a joint venture between Jameson, which will finish the whiskies in ex-bourbon cars. They will give it then um, to the brewery, which is the Franciscan Well Breweries. And they would then age the um, stout beer in these ex bourbon cars, and when they're done with the uh, maturation of the stout, they give it back to Jameson, and Jameson will then finish off their whiskey in the stout cars. So, what do you expect? A little bit of stout, maybe a little bit of a hint of bitterness, or maybe more than a hint. And, um, and I think that is what worried me the most is, am I going to have the same reaction as horse learning? 
um, that hated it, that um, said it's too much oak, too much hops, too much bitterness. So this is a no age statement whiskey. Color, um, uh, they don't say anything about the color added. So it's bottled at 40% ABV. So there's some chill filtration maybe. And um, there's also a possibility of being color added, but I didn't find any information. And after the video, I'll do a little bit more digging to see if I can see if there's any color added. So at 40% ABV, it's not a strong one. Um, also not something that I will add any water to, but in the interest of uh, transparency, I will maybe add a little bit to see what I do get if I add some water. So on the nose, cheers. So the first of all, it is really nice. I do get vanilla, but there's a hint of vanilla. And a little bit on top of that, I get a pear note or a nice um, uh, red apple, something um, that's not too sweet, but you get that freshness of an apple note. I also get a little bit of a dried uh, peaches, but not very strong. And then I get toffee, a deep, rich toffee note. And uh, something that I picked up last night as well is a little bit of an ashy note. Um, and I'm, I cannot really describe it other than being a little bit of an ash. Um, maybe a fire that is uh, dead and that re re resemblance of the ash is still there. That hint of an ash or dusty note that I get. And then of course then the can be my imagination, but uh, I love stout. I've, when I go away somewhere, I always try the dark stouty beers. I like the creaminess of it, and I do get that uh, creaminess on this one as well. So a creamy note. I also get a little bit of a chocolate note, and but it is something like a hot chocolate. Um, it's not a dark chocolate, a bitter chocolate. Um, it's more like making yourself a nice cup of hot chocolate and that very similar to the smell with a hint of a creaminess to it. It is only bottled at 40%, so I do not get a lot of the alcohol. Even if I agitate it quite, quite a bit, um, you do get the youthfulness of the alcohol, but it is not... Um, it's not overly strong, so definitely I don't think water is going to do it any justice. I also get a little bit of a hint uh, of a, uh, a nutty note, um, something like uh, toasted pecan, pecan nuts, or maybe a little bit of a sweetened caramelized pecan nuts, right? but you do get on it. And a little bit of a brown sugar note. All in all, on the nose, it's really nice. That's, and I think it is because of the 40% ABV that makes it so nice. I think if it was 46%, the alcohol would have been hiding it, uh, all these nice aromas coming out. So on the taste, cheers. You get a nice sweet toffee. As the first thing that I get. I get a hint of the vanilla. A sweet, a sweet caramel note coming out. Quite a lot of sweetness actually. I was expecting after seeing the, the video of uh, horse, I was thinking this is going to kick my teeth out with all the bitterness. I don't get a lot of the bitterness. I also get the roasted nuts still. I do get the hot chocolate. It is exactly if you make some homemade hot chocolate with some real Belgian chocolate, but not overly sweet Belgian chocolate. So it is not a sugar bomb, but you do get a chocolate aftertaste 
um, in this one. I do now get a little bit of the hops coming out. So there is a little bit of a bitterness, but it is not an oaky bitterness. It is a more the hopsy bitterness. It's not a lingering bitterness that I get. It disappears quite fast and when it leaves me some milk chocolate or hot chocolate aftertaste. A little bit of a, a butterscotch note coming out as well and a little bit of a brown sugar taste. And there's a creaminess to it. It reminds me a little bit of Bailey's um, uh, without the sweetness. So it, Bailey's is very sweet. This is a little bit sweet, but it is the same consistency, the case, same creaminess as a Bailey's. Really, really nice. Very dangerous. This is something that you can, well, that you can think, you can sip all day. But I think this is going to knock you. Really, really nice. Fantastic one. I'm glad I took a chance on this one. I'm glad I tried it. I do love it. I think this is one of the best ones that I've tasted in a while. I did the tomato 12 the other day. Was not impressed. Um, so it's nice to come back and try a whiskey that's really nice and you expected it to be bad. What do you think? Leave a comment. Have you tried it? What do you, uh, will you recommend it? For me, definitely I recommend. Try it and I think this will be fantastic in a little bit of a uh, cocktail as well. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Cheers.